Hey guys, welcome to a video covering some weapons that are pretty much dead content and surprisingly enough are part of the best combat style the high end of the game, ranged. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. I am of course talking about the throwing weapons, which include darts, axes, and knives. No one really uses these anymore. Well, except the death touch dart, but that's a different story. That's an instant kill dart, and not something you can compare to a regular weapon. So what are the problems with these weapons? Well, first of all, the weapon tier. Knives only go up to tier 60. Axes only go up to tier 88, with superior Morgan's throwing axe. Darts only go up to tier 88, but that was added in 2018, with the superior death lotus darts. Red Regular darts were tier 85 and added in 2014, chakrams go up to tier 80 with the attuned crystal version, and javelins go up to tier 88 with superior Morrigan's javelin. Now you might say, hey, tier 88 ranged weapons? That's not too bad, right? Until you realize that there's no offhand for the axe and javelin. They simply don't exist. If you want an offhand, you have to go down to tier 60 or tier 50 for rune or dragon versions. That's not very good. <laughs> And you can't use for criminal bolts because they aren't a crossbow. Or blackstone arrows because it isn't a bow. There are simply superior weapons that are better, have an offhand, and can use different ammo that you can't use with these weapons. Now sure, the crystal chakrams or the darts do have an offhand version and they're not that bad. In fact, the attuned crystal chakrams are a fairly good small budget option for players looking for some ranged weapons. They're not bad at all. Definitely not if you're starting out. But there's a problem with the darts, knives, and axes, and that is weapon range. Throwing axes have a range of four tiles, and that is pathetically low. Your position, then three tiles, plus the target, is a tile range of four. For reference, two-handed ranged weapons have a target range of nine tiles. So imagine how short four tiles is. Knives, on the other hand, have a range of five, which... Is a bit better, obviously, but still very short and not something I recommend. Sure, for low level training, it's not that bad, but you might as well just use a bow, right? Darts have a tile range of six, which is better, but still not very good. In fact, six tiles has the exact same range as a blowpipe, but honestly, it's extremely annoying if you were to be bossing using the superior Death Lotus darts, or PKing for that matter. You need that range, it is important. Now, Chakrams and the Javelin have a tall range of 7, which is actually not that bad. For reference, this is the exact same weapon range as Ascension Crossbows, or just one-handed crossbows in general. This is, in my opinion, the minimum range for ranged weapons. I think you're starting to see why attuned crystal chakrams are actually not a bad option. They have the range of ascension crossbows, you can use the dual wield needle strike ability, which is significantly better than Dazing Shot, which is the two-handed variant or the opposite ability for two-handed weapons. So chakrams are pretty good. The only thing they can't use is bacriminal bolts, but if you're doing, you know, low-level training, you don't have 99 range yet, you can't use bacriminal bolts anyways. Now, the attuned crystal chakrams actually have a cool effect. They give you a small chance of doing 25% extra damage on a hit. This chance varies with your agility level and apparently maxes out at 12% at 99 agility. So at the max, this will give you around a 3% damage boost on average at level 99 agility, according to the RuneScape wiki. At least it's got something going for it. Extra damage is extra damage. So you know how I mentioned throwing knives and throwing axes and so on would be bad? Well, with the weapon diversity update that never made it into the game but was in the beta phase, or beta phase depending on where you're from, throwing knives would have five tiers in weapon damage and accuracy less, but the global cooldown of abilities would be reduced to two ticks instead of three. So from 1.8 seconds down to 1.2. Now that in itself is probably worth the reduction in damage and accuracy, except throwing knives only go up to tier 60. So unless they ever plan to release higher tier knives, that was almost dead content on release because no one uses knives because they are low tier. In the second weapon or combat diversity beta, darts will deal 10% more damage dual wielded against poisonable targets or poison targets, which would mean in combination with cinder bands, they'd actually be pretty good, especially if you're using the superior or elite death lotus darts. They also had some interesting ideas for AOE javelins. Uh, the throwing axes would allow you to bind your target or deal 10% damage instead. Now, even though these effects sound interesting, the weapon range would still kill these weapons. Now, the funny thing is the weapon range between these different items is actually not that consistent like you saw in the images earlier. Sometimes lower level darts have a lower range than high level darts, and sometimes a javelin like this one, the Sage, has a nine tile range. 
Why? It's tier 72. Why should it have a higher range? What's even worse, but it does make sense, if you're using a lower tier offhand weapon or a different offhand weapon with this javelin, or any weapon for that matter, you use the range of that weapon instead and you walk forward. The only way these weapons or types of weapons will ever be relevant again is if they are higher tier and they have some crazy powerful buff to make up for the lack of range. But they don't necessarily need to be either. We don't need a variety of different range weapons per se. It doesn't have to happen. And sometimes the spec is even useful in very neat situations like the Morrigan's Axe when used on an opponent, allowing you to really drain their run energy. This can be countered by using a stamina potion, but I'm pretty sure many players don't use these in the wilderness. And with that being said, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it interesting, and feel free to leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.